Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to update you on the progress here uh, on our clamps and I'm going to show you a couple of areas um, that you need to pay attention to um, because you can kind of get boogered up. Um, this is the this is the prototype, I guess you say, <clears throat> because I'm smart enough to know how bad I am at this type of stuff that before I build 13 at a time, I'm going to build one. Um, so here's uh, a couple of areas that, um, that you might want to look out for. Um, this is uh, one inch by eighth inch. Uh, this is the aluminum bar stock. And I find that that's, I was worried when I was carrying out my eight foot piece because it's kind of bowed out. Um, this is fine. Uh, you can use this because they didn't have any of the other stuff. Uh, where I was going to. The wood itself um, has worked uh, fine. This is just, these are just pop work boards. Um, that's working okay. The um, nails which I was using, these are just one inch um, uh, flat roofing nails. Um, and here's two things that I learned. One, uh, an inch and a quarter probably would have been better because what I'm what I'm hitting is the pointy tip, um, and as you can see, um, you don't get as much of a mushroom I think um, that you would get if you had maybe an inch and a quarter nail cut the tip off of it, the pointy tip of it, and we're just peening over um, the flat part of it. You also have to be really careful because if you whack it off axis you'll start to crack things so be careful there um, pay attention to a couple of things right here let's get this right in the middle there we go that's middle um, pay attention to a couple of measurements here uh, I went off the inch and three quarter um, but because of my cut that I made here I don't have a lot of meat um, between the edge of this channel right here and where this screw goes down, this reinforcing screw. So what I'm going to do on the subsequent clamps is I'm going to move this back. I think probably a quarter inch will be okay. Um, that'll open me up a little more room for this. I drilled this out um, and then put my screw in there. Um, so that I don't split the wood open, especially because it's as thin as it is right here. Pay attention to how close you get these two nails. You want it to be a little bit loose. You don't want, I mean, not even a little bit loose. I have that much of a gap. And the problem with that is when you go to clamp it down, it sits at that angle. It sits at that angle. It doesn't sit straight across like that. Because with the room that you get when you're just cutting the slice in here, um, you'll be able to move it in like this. Move it in like that and then straighten it up. So pay attention. Just don't make it really sloppy like this. Now my, my other issue, and I'm not sure if it's directly related to my slop that I've got uh, in this or if it's um, perhaps due to um, the if I have drilled this too close and I don't have enough cam action or if this in here is slippery because this um, does not want to hold it just wants to flip back so there's a couple of three possibilities um, on that. Uh, it could be that um, there's not enough friction here. Um, it could be I don't have enough surface area here. Maybe I need a wider cam, a thicker cam. Uh, or it could be that it's all just going pear-shaped because when you go to clamp it, I'm not at the right angle or I need to move this back. I don't know which one of those it is. 
Um, so we'll um, do a little bit more um, exploring. We'll modify this. I've only cut the end pieces on this one set. Um, my guess is that these little clamps um, are going to be well, I'm just going to use these as my as my test beds. So now, instead of cutting my channel to here, I'm going to move this back a quarter inch, get some more meat in here for the screw to purchase up, tighten up the clearance between these two nails, um, take the slop out of this right here, and then we'll look at... Um, what we can do to fix this. Um, so that's the progress. Um, it's moving along. Um, I'm actually quite pleased with how it's going, um, but I'm more than willing to, to share with you folks that these are the kind of areas that, you know, these are the things you need to look out for um, because, you know, if you, if you know that going in, then uh, that, makes your, uh, that makes your train wreck uh, a little less train recce we'll see stay tuned hey if you've enjoyed this episode of rattle can guitar restorations you might want to check out the videos below also be sure to like comment and subscribe to us over on the YouTube you can friend us over on the Facebook and you can follow us on the Instagram as well as the Twitter. See you next time. Thanks for watching the train wreck. Cheers.